Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to make this delicious loaded seafood baked potato. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by prepping our ingredients. Dice some celery. Green bell pepper. Red bell pepper. An onion. And chop some green onion. Next, peel and devein some shrimp. When you're finished, set your shrimp to the side. Next, after cleaning three large potatoes, cover them in olive oil. When you're finished, season them with salt. Using a fork, poke holes into your potatoes. Bake your potatoes at 400 for one hour. After baking your potatoes, poke them with a fork to make sure that they're done. Then cut a thin layer off your potato lengthwise. Then scoop the insides out into a bowl. Also, be careful not to tear the shell. When you're finished, set your potato skins to the side. Next, mash the potatoes in the bowl. Then mix in 3 tablespoons of butter. Three-fourths cup of milk. And three-fourths cup of sour cream. Once you've mixed all that together, you're going to add 3 4 teaspoon of salt, 3 4 teaspoon of pepper, 3 4 cup of cheddar cheese, and a half a cup of green onions. If it's hard to stir your potatoes or they don't seem creamy enough, you can go ahead and add more milk. When you're finished with your filling, set it to the side. If you haven't already done so, place your potato shells back on the baking sheet. Then place slices of provolone cheese at the bottom of your potato shells. Then add your filling.
When you've added all of your filling to each potato, add shredded cheddar cheese on top. Or you can add one slice of provolone cheese with cheddar cheese. Then bake your potatoes at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. While our potatoes are cooking in the oven, we're going to make our sauce. In a large pan over medium heat, add five slices of bacon. Cook your bacon until nice and crispy. When your bacon has finished cooking, add about one to two tablespoons of butter. Use the butter to deglaze the pan. Then add your shrimp and season them. I added pepper, Old Bay, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. After you season your shrimp, Saute them for about four to five minutes or until cooked. Once your shrimp are all cooked, take them out of the pan. Then add one fourth cup of diced onions, one fourth cup of diced celery, and one fourth cup of bell peppers. Cook your vegetables in the pan for about five minutes. Then add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Cook the garlic with the vegetables for about 30 seconds to a minute. After that, add a half a cup of chicken broth. And one cup of heavy cream. Mix everything together until well combined. Then let your sauce simmer until it becomes thick. Once your sauce has become thick, add a half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning. 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 4th teaspoon of onion powder, 1 4th teaspoon of Old Bay, and 1 4th teaspoon of paprika. Then add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and 1 4th cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix everything together until well combined. Next, add a half a cup of lump crab meat and a half a cup of crawfish meat. Mix the meat into the sauce and let it cook for about five minutes. After your crab meat and crawfish meat are cooked, your sauce is all finished. Next, take the bacon you cooked before and chop into small pieces. When you're finished, set your bacon to the side. Now that your potatoes have finished baking in the oven, you can go ahead and plate everything up. Place your baked potato on a plate. Then add your seafood sauce.
the shrimp we cooked before. Bacon. And your green onions. And this is the finished result. The baked potato came out great. And the sauce on top was amazing with it. Everything was just so delicious, well seasoned and flavorful. The baked potato by itself is already good. It was creamy and cheesy and delicious, but with that sauce on top, it just creates an entirely different experience. This recipe is pretty easy to make and I totally recommend giving it a try. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!